Now let's say you're doing a conference and you don't want to get all these notifications from different apps, including phone calls or anything, even text right here on your Mac. Well, we can silence your Mac not to do that. So again, on the top right hand corner, you're gonna see this besides Siri. So here's Siri and beside Siri, we see this. Just click on it and you will notice this coming up. So let me just zoom in a little bit. See this where it says do not disturb, click on it you're gonna see this. So you can set this up not to disturb you for one hour this evening, always on. Maybe you don't want ever to get notifications. They can be annoying at times or it just until tomorrow. So if you have a really long thing or maybe you're not really sure how long you're gonna be in that meeting or you just don't want this to disturb you until tomorrow, just click right there. We're not gonna see any more notifications. Obviously, if we change our mind, we can always tap on this again to get rid of it and right now we're gonna get notifications again. So that's something really important to know now, especially now that we have a lot of meetings online, everybody's working from home or maybe you're even doing school, you may not want those notifications on. Now getting back to here, you guys will see Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, AirDrop. AirDrop, AirDrop's pretty cool. It works really well if you guys have iPhones, iPads, you guys can transfer stuff between your Mac and your iPhone just using this. So that's important to note. We also have up here keyboard brightness, display brightness, and sound. Plus, you can always play music. Also wanna show you that screen mirroring. You can only do this if you guys have anything that's compatible with screen mirroring. But anyways, I do have a separate video talking all about that. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.